Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at factorizing a quadratic expression, okay? Good. Now, in the previous video we looked at identifying the coefficients a and b and the constant c. So now let's look at how we factorize. Now take a simple quadratic, right? Let's say 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. And just bear with me because I'm doing these things out of my head. Okay, all right. When factorizing a quadratic expression now, the first thing that we need to do, we need to just, just to be on the right track, just to identify what A, B, and C, what those numbers are. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to say A. Let me identify my A. So a is equal to, the co and a is the coefficient of x squared, so my a is 2, okay? Uh, that seems to be a little bit bright. Let me change it down, tone it down a bit. Uh, now I need to identify what my b is, and b is 5, the coefficient of x. And last but not least, I need to identify what c is, and in this case, c is equal to 3. Okay, now I've identified what a, b, and c, what those numbers are. Now, when factorizing, the first thing I need to do, I need to find the product of a, c. So, here I'm going to find find what is the product and product means to multiply okay so I need to find a times C so a times C basically is I'm just going to substitute what a is 2 so I'm going to use my 2 times C is 3 my 3 okay and now 2 times 3 will give me a 6. So my product AC is 6. Now, after I form my product, the next thing that I need to do is to find factors of AC. So now I'm going to find factors of my, of my product. Okay, factors of my product. And remember, my product is A times C. Now, factors of product AC, AC is 6. So I need to find factors of 6, okay? And factors of 6 are, I can say 1 times 6 will give me 6. And also, I can say 2 times 3, 2 times 3 will also give me 6, okay? So there I have my two sets of factors. Now the thing that I need to do now is to choose the set of factors that when I add them, when I multiply them, I get 6, which is the product here. When I multiply them, I get 6. But when I add them, I get B, which is 5, okay? Now, if I should multiply this, one time, the first set of factors, 1 times 6 is 6, but 1 plus 6 is 7, so I wouldn't get a 5. So I can't use this. By process of elimination, I would have to eliminate the first one, okay? But however, when I look at my second factor, 2 times 3 will give me 6, but and 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, which is my B there, okay? So this is the factor. This is the, f the set of factors that I am going to use because when I multiply them, I get 6, and when I add it, I get 5, okay? So basically what I'm, I'll be doing now, I'll be rewriting this and expanding 5x into 2x plus 3x. Now what I have here basically now is I have my... 2x squared, and I'm just rewriting this, plus, and I'm using my factors now to replace 5x, I'm going to have my 2x plus 3x plus 3, okay? If you notice, in the original, I had 5x here, 5, 
<clears throat> sorry about that I had 5x here now I haven't changed 5x because if you should add 2x plus 3x you would get back your 5x the reason why I've expanded 5x is such that I can factorize by grouping and which we have done in in previous videos so if you're not sure about factorization by grouping you can always go back to those videos okay so now this implies this implies that I have a 2x squared, okay? Let me not rewrite that. I can just go ahead and factorize. So we can just factorize by grouping. We have split this. So we can say I'm going to group these two terms, the first two terms, and then I'm going to group the second two terms, okay? So I'm asking myself now, what is common to 2x squared and 2x? And 2 is common okay so I can take out my 2 and also x is common okay good so I have a common 2x there so now I'm going to open my bracket open my bracket and I'm going to say 2x 2 into 2 2 will cancel 2 x into x I'll be left with an x here and then I'm going to say 2 into 2 2 cancel 2 um, that goes one time and x into x also goes one time okay so <clears throat> when 2x goes into these two terms uh, my result is x plus 1 so I'm bringing down my positive sign and I'm going to ask myself what is common to both terms and I have a 3 there open bracket and I'm saying 3 into 3x 3 will cancel 3 leaving x and 3 into 3 goes one time and I've always said that what is important now is that we look right here and to see what is happening if you notice I have a x plus 1 in this bracket and a x plus 1 in this bracket so that indicates that we're on the right track okay when factorizing by grouping so let me pull up my screen a little bit okay so now we are here so after we have after we have <coughs> factorized by grouping now what we are going to be doing now since we have the same thing in both brackets we are going to rewrite what's inside one of the brackets so I have a x plus 1 and then I'm going to combine what's on the outside of the other two brackets I have a 2x plus 3 and that's how we factorize by grouping that's my answer and you can always check yourself to see if you're on the right track and I always say to you that a neat little trick that you can use to check yourself is that if you should expand these brackets and I'm and I can do it quickly for you in white just to check if you're right if you expand these two brackets you could get you should get back what you started out with initially so let's do a little check here let's do a little check and I'll make a note there if I should say x plus 1 close brackets and I'm multiplying that by 2x plus 3 then I would say x times 2x would give me would give me 2x squared and x times 3 would give me a 3x and 1 times 2x would give me a 2x and 1 times 3 will give me a positive 3 and this implies that I have a 2x squared and 3x plus 2x will give me a 5x and I have a 3 there now if you notice quickly that when I expand my answer here x plus 1 multiplied by 2x plus 3 I got back what I started out with initially okay and we can look let me just scroll to the top just remember this this is 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 and if you should look carefully here I started out with a 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 so that shows us that we are correct and as I said you're not necessary not you are not required to show this on an exam paper however this is just for your own confidence okay all right thank you and if but if you're still in doubt you could always drop us a message and we can get back to you bye